Matt, that was a, a tough game, but um, Bristol came out with the result in the end. I'm obviously pretty happy with that. Very happy, especially um, after a good first half performance by Rotherham. I thought they looked uh, dangerous every time they got the ball, and it was just some pretty much fingernail defence at the end that um, stopped them scoring another couple of tries. I think a, a big turning point for us was just before half time when Jack Tevy got an intercept and uh, we managed to score. That gave us a little bit of a lifeline, really. And what I said to the players at half time was, we've now got to take advantage of that lifeline. And there was a lot of grit, determination, and desire to keep our winning run going at the end there. Yeah, very much. I guess every occasion to, to wear the Bristol jersey is, uh, is an honour, something I, I really enjoy. And uh, uh, Rotherham, they came up fighting today, probably started on the blocks a little quicker than you guys, but uh, it is over 80 minutes and you guys seem to, to claw back and, uh, and get that final result. Absolutely. Uh, to be fair to them, they had the upper hand in the first half. They could have taken a 10, 15, even 20 point lead. Uh, and, and I thought it was great character for us to react in the second half, come back, put it right and, and, uh, and take the game. And it was quite a different game to, to definitely of, of last week. Um, this one's knockout rugby, so for the players, a different mentality, I presume. Um, it, it, it gets them ready for the, those hopeful uh, knockout stages in the finals. Yeah, that was my final message to the group, actually. I think uh, we've got potentially, before this game, we have 10 games left. Seven of those are going to be not knockout games because the playoffs are two legged, but they're going to be, you know, one one game chances, really. And um, we said to the group, this is our first test at what that feels like tonight. The message was. Um, let's do what we've done all season let's not get close to the finish line and start tying up and trying not to lose and um, I thought that come through at the end you know we we still um, you know we didn't play the perfect game by any stretch of the imagination but we kept doing what we'd done all season we kept that attacking mindset and fortunately it's got us over the line with uh, you know a five try display yeah that's spot on because we're now going to a stage where it's it's uh, it's uh, there's no second chances. I know it's a two-leg final, but you can look at it as a long game, and there's no, there's no time to review, there's no time to reassess. It's win or or you're gone. So, uh, getting quarterfinals, semi-finals, uh, not underestimating this cup because we will target both cups. But, the but it's good to get that experience, and it's good to know that it's when the game is over, it's over, and you don't have time to reassess it. And in terms of mentality. It's not often Bristol go behind in games, but um, it was quite a topsy-turvy game. Momentum shifts quite a lot. Quite hard for, for players mentally to, to keep plugging away. And as you said, uh, great to see them plug away to that final whistle. Yeah, and I think that was it. And you know, credit to Rotherham. Rotherham are a good side now. They've run, they run us ragged at times in the first half with their style of play. Um, but that will and desire kept us in it to the end. We said before the game this was going to be an 80-minute game because they had a pretty strong bench that were coming on as well. Um, and you know, fortunately, just through desire and you know a little bit of quality at times, we, we managed to um, get over the line, which is which is pleasing and a good um, a good experience for the players, especially young boys who haven't been in these situations before. It gives them a reference point now, and hopefully we won't need it. But if we do need a reference point going into the playoffs when we're behind and we try and find a way back into the game is something to draw back on. And ultimately, not just another win, another impressive win and another win at home. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I mean, uh, we're very happy. Um, you can always win by 80 points. I think last, last week was, fun, was phenomenal in, in the sense of attack. Uh, but, I mean, we, we beat a uh, team that is very physical, very good in attack. And especially coming back from the first half where, where they were the better team and to turn it around, I, I, think, I think we can be pleased with our performance. And I presume to have that support and hear the crowd behind you throughout the whole game is lifting for you guys. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, you you play, you play in your home team in your home ground and, and feel everyone behind you and how much it means to them and it it it, it makes you feel like you, you can't do give anything but but everything, but all you've got because uh, you can't let them know.